Okay, let's say we've been doing a lot of work in EasyCAD. We have this work done. We like our work, etc. Wow, that is really easy to crash. So, given that it was the only thing we could use for years, we stumbled through and we uh, got it to work properly in the way we like. We want to export our work. We did a lot of good work. We need to export this work. There is no export. There is only save. So let's go ahead and save as, save as whatever. And here's how we actually use our work. To use our work, we need to load our work. That is where this program Meerkat comes in. Now, so we load up our work and we open our EasyCAD file. The reason Meerkat can open EasyCAD files is it can actually uh, send data to your EasyCAD to Galbo Laser. It is a perfectly fine and running program to control your Galbo Laser with, you know, live bound hatches, uh, red dot control, etc. Also includes the wait command, all the rest of the commands uh, at the appropriate uh, at the appropriate speeds. So we check in here, frequency 28. Uh, in our original EasyCAD, we had frequency 28, power 60, speed, etc. So it copies all the settings over, uh, and then we can go ahead and start that and send it to our Galvo laser. However, the important thing for the nature of this video is that we can save as, and we save as whatever, and this actually gives us a file, which is an SVG. And with an SVG, we can do whatever we need to do. So we go ahead and launch up our copy of Lightburn. And with our copy of Lightburn, we load the SVG. And we now have this SVG in Lightburn. So our work is no longer lost using Meerkat. We can load up the file and uh, do whatever we need to do with it. However, uh, keep in mind, uh, Lightburn will not have your settings. They will have been brought into uh, Meerkat, but the Meerkat saved file uh, only loads for Meerkat. It has uh, the settings built into the file, but uh, your Lightburn isn't gonna have them and it's not gonna do things like the wait command. Etc. But if you just need this shape out, you now have access to that particular shape that you wanted to do. So you now have this shape in uh, Lightburn, and then you can manipulate it in whichever ways you need to. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.